peat, when burned for fuel, releases 106 grams of carbon dioxide per megajoule. Scientists discover a new fuel mixture, and over the course of 40 experiments, find that their engineered peat releases on average 93 grams of, of carbon dioxide per megajoule. Their experiments had a standard deviation of 25 grams. Can the scientists be 95% sure that their new fuel mixture releases less CO2? Let's start by writing down what we know. They did 40 experiments. Here, each of these experiments is, a, is one of our uh, samples. So the sample size is 40. The average across the samples was 93, CO, uh, 93 grams uh, of CO2 per megajoule with a standard deviation of 25. Alpha is 5% because they wanted to be 95% sure. So the null hypothesis in this case is that mu equals They want to see, is, it, is the new fuel mixture, uh, does it have a lower CO2 release than the other kinds of peat, which is 106. So the null hypothesis is that the, that the engineered fuel have a mean of 106, and the alternative hypothesis well, that the, is that the mean is less than 106. Step two. Our sample size is greater than 30, so we know we're going to have a z-test. Step 3, we have a significance level of 5%. Let's draw it out. Well, we have a left tail test. We need to have 5% in the left tail. So according to our table, we're going to use the 90% level of confidence, because that's going to put 5% on either side. That gives us a z-score of 1.64. Now, of course, that's the positive z-score. We're going to use the negative, because we're to the left of the mean. Minus 1, what did I say? 1.64. Next, let's calculate the test. z equals x bar minus mu over standard error, which equals, was it 93? 93 minus 106, standard deviation over root n. So here we've got standard error of the mean equals s over root n, 25 over root 40. Let me just grab my calculator. And that basically equals 4. we've got a z-score of minus 3.25. That is, way out here, zone of rejection. So 6, we are going to reject the null. The new peat releases less than 106 grams of CO2 per megajoule.